Hey guys, Alphanet here. Just checking out another Nat Travis level. We're going to be playing against this giant undead thing, Grobulus. Let's see how that goes. Anyway, anybody hear about the whole Frank Cho, Greg Rucker thing? It's hardcore. Like, I dig them both as, like, artists, and they're both great content creators, so hopefully, you know, that stuff gets resolved to a more or less satisfactory level. I'm going to be playing my Priest deck, which is a Cthulhu-based deck. I know, you know, it's already sort of whispers of the old gods, and I'm only just doing these sort of Nax Ramus levels now, but I'm a busy, busy man. Don't have time to explain. Not a bad hand. Let's see what I do with it here. I think I'm going to drop the mind control. Bit expensive to have in your opening hand. Uh, mind games, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, let's me copy a random minion from my opponent's deck. So I'm going to go turn 1 North Shy Cleric. And then I'm going to go turn 2. Um, damn, what's his name? The sort of Cthulhu minion. I'll give my Cthulhu plus two plus two when I play it next time. It's gonna slam my cleric. Yeah, still alive, so I guess that's not the end of the world. By the by, just finished reading the first trade of uh, images east of west. Uh, don't want to go into too much details because I'd like to do a video on that later, but. Guys, do yourself a favor. Image is doing some great work at the moment. You guys should really check it out. I mean, if you've got some a digital comics account, or just go down to your local comic book store and pick some of that up. Really, do yourself a favor. Oh, damaging my North Strike Clerk again. Let's see, what are we going to do this time? I think we're going to play that. Give my Cthulhu another plus two right plus on. two. Well, not another, because it's first plus two plus two, but stop. Uh, and end my turn there, because that's all I can do. Like, the only real. For the Dancing Sword, the only real use I see to it is in like a sort of mill deck where you're trying to get your opponent to empty his hand. Because otherwise, I've always found, when I'm playing against them, I found those Dancing Swords to be quite helpful. Another minion to pump up my Cthulhu. This way. Just uh, you know, for those of you who don't know, Cthulhu is a giant eyeball-looking minion that costs right ten that I've currently got in my hand. When I play it, he deals uh, damage to all. He deals damage to all enemies on the field equal to his attack power. So most sort of Cthulhu-based minions are designed to pump him up as high as possible. Another dancing sword. Going to enjoy squishing that. I think I'm going to go with the Crazed Worshipper this turn. And because my other minion has Divine Shield, I'm probably going to attack one of those swords. Let's see. Uh, Divine Shield, it basically absorbs the first attack against that minion that deals damage. And instead of killing it, I'll just lose the shield. And so far, things seem to be working in my favor. In my turn, let's see what he does. I mean, there's only one thing he can do. He has to get rid of my taunting, my taunting crazed worshiper first. But any damage a crazed worshiper takes is going to pump up Cthulhu even further. So that's like a win-win for me. I want to keep those those eggs, his eggs, on the field as long as possible without actually getting rid of them. Because if I kill them, he gets four four creatures. I think we're gonna go with my tournament medic. What's cool about that is if my priest has taken damage, I use my healing power to heal a minion, and then the tournament medic will heal my hero. This way. Also, I've read the first two issues and the free comic book day issue of Civil War now. And i got to say, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, don't want to go into too many details. I also want to do a follow-up video, but 
uh, I can tell you guys the basic premise of it. It's got a, it's different from the first Civil War arc they did earlier. It's got a sort of minority report style vibe where there's a one of the Inhumans that can predict the future, and I like Captain Marvel's side wants to use this power to help save people, and Iron Man's side is like, no, you can't arrest someone until they've actually broken the law. And also that's too much power for anyone to have, because once you know the future, you can shape it. Hang on, let's see what's happening here. I play my mind games. I'm going to heal... Yeah, heal the taunter, that's smart. Um, also, North Shire Cleric, every time I heal a minion, lets me draw a card. So... Four, seven, eight. If I attack with all my minions against him, this turn I can harvest health, but I should probably get rid of some of those minions first just to be on the safe side. The egg, the, the two Nerubian egg things are not much threat to me this turn, so I'm going to leave those alone. Like I said, don't want to touch those. Yeah, I also I had a chance to read the DC Rebirth thing, and I gotta say, this whole sort of sticking Watchmen in the DC Universe thing, I preferred Watchmen as largely self-contained, but I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to be wrong about that and it's going to end up being awesome, uh, but you know, it's, I guess it's too early to tell, um, but I've got my fingers crossed there. Uh, let's see, great, what I think I should do is probably attack his taunter with my taunter because that'll double pump my taunt creature from the initial attack against it then when his taunt dies it deals two damage to all the creatures on the field because that'll at least clear out all the slimes I mean I still have to deal with the spiders but it's, you know, it's better than nothing right I don't have enough mana feel my pain then hopefully my uh, Ragnaros the Fire Lord will hit him and deal 8 damage to him as opposed to dealing 8 damage to one of his other creatures. Really wish my tournament medic had 2 attack power right now. Because if he, like, if he hits him, that will kill him. But, you know, he only has 1, so we'll see. But I only really need to survive two more turns and I'll drop my C'Thun and then there's no way he's going to win. He'd have to be able to kill me this turn, which I just don't see happening. The taunt thing's going to be a pain in the ass. Though. Uh, let's see... I think I might go with the shape. No, I might drop those instead. Yeah, okay. Better, better. And then... Uh, shake things up a bit, see what that gives me. Like I said, it's not make, it makes a great deal of difference at this point. I only need to survive one more turn. And then I should be able to achieve a victory once I put my Cthulhu on the field. Also, Blizzard is, uh, like this week, Blizzard's doing a thing where uh, if you compete against your friends, you can still uh, complete your quest goals. Which is cool, I mean, it's not a huge, it's not something that's hugely useful to me at this point in time. But also, like what they're doing, uh, if you can recruit a new friend, and once your friend gets all their heroes to level 20, you will get a level 20 Murloc uh, skin for your shaman. I think it's called like Morgul or something. But, uh... Yeah, I'm, uh, I got my girlfriend into it, and I'm hoping eventually I'll have a new skin for my shaman. But yeah, no, you guys should really check it out if you're a fan of this game. Yep, on the field, with my Cthulhu, and Cthulhu is dealing his 17 damage to all my enemies. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be in the clear on this one. Three, 
Why is he still alive? What a chip. Yeah, I suppose that's not too bad. Just two more turns tops. So I need to clear out his taunter this turn and then I'll be able to wipe him out in the next turn. Let's see, I draw Doomcaller. Doomcaller is a great card if you play your Cthulhu and then it gets killed for whatever reason. Because uh, Doomcaller will, if it's the, if it if it's played the and your Cthulhu is dead, it'll return your Cthulhu to your library. Up your deck, sorry, not magic. Um, and then afterwards, it will give the Cthulhu plus two plus two. So, kill, kill, kill. Yeah, you'd have to play some serious taunters and wipe out my Cthulhu to have even a like, remote chance at winning, which I just don't see happening. Don't know about the rest of you guys. Let's see what he does. Damage, uh, not to worry, not to worry. Attack. Kind of doing my job for me at that point, right? Don't even really need to bother playing anything. It's <laughs> Game set mash at this point. Uh, this internet lag sucks. I'm so happy I'm not live streaming this. Oh, that would be embarrassing. That's another one down. Looking forward to the next level. And uh, let's see what we unlock, shall we? Once again, like I said, very happy I'm not live streaming this. Uh, click to continue. Ah, and that's what I get. Anyway, guys, uh, until next time, this is Alpha Nerd here at Trump Gear. Uh, if you you know, uh, subscribe to us. We could really use the support and, you know, views on our videos. Uh, look at our Facebook page, uh, you know, like our Twitter feed, follow us. And until then, this is Alpha Nerd bringing you some more cool stuff. Signing out.